before you begin any work on your exhaust system, it's a really good idea to hit it with some penetrating oil. If you can do it a couple of days in advance and do it a couple of times so it goes through a few heat cycles, it's even better. To perform this work, you're going to need to safely raise and support the vehicle. Please follow our link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. This photo illustrates under the middle of the car on the left side. The black cover, green arrow, contains the oxygen sensor connectors. The oxygen sensors can be removed separately from the exhaust or can be removed with the exhaust. There is another cover on the other side of the car for the oxygen sensors mounted in the right side exhaust. This photo illustrates under the middle of the car on the left side of the E39 with a six cylinder. On the left side we see the black cover, green arrow. This is only the housing for the rear O2 sensors. Follow the same following steps to unplug those rear O2 sensors. Working at the same left side oxygen sensor cover, remove the two plastic nuts, green arrows, that secure the oxygen sensor connector to the body of the car. You will also have to do this on the right side of the car. Unclip the metal bands, green arrows, that hold the oxygen sensor wiring harness to the heat shields. You'll have to do this on the right side exhaust as well. Flip the cover around and pull the oxygen sensor connector, green arrow, out of the cover. There are two connectors, one for the pre-catalytic converter, sensor 1, and one for the post-catalytic converter, sensor 2. Don't worry about getting the front and rear oxygen sensors mixed up. The male and female connectors are reversed from sensor 1 and 2. Once again, duplicate the step on the right side exhaust for the other two oxygen sensors. Separate each oxygen sensor connector by squeezing the end of the connector, green arrow, and the other side of the connector, yellow arrow, and pulling them straight apart. The next few steps deal with unbolting the exhaust from the car. The exhaust is large and heavy and you should support the middle of the exhaust with a jack stand or equivalent. This exhaust has been serviced already with either a replacement catalytic converter or a replacement cat back system. This is why you are seeing the exhaust sleeves, green arrows, mounted in the exhaust. You may not have these but simply have straight pipes. Working at the back of the car, use a jack and a block of wood to support the muffler at the rear of the exhaust. This photo illustrates under the back of the car on the left side. We are looking at the front of the mufflers. Remove the 13 millimeter nut, green arrow, that secures the muffler mount to the body of the car. Moving towards the middle of the exhaust, there is a V-shaped resonator muffler. Remove the rubber muffler hanger, green arrow, that is on the right side from the lower pin that is attached to the exhaust. Moving towards the middle of the exhaust, remove the four 13mm bolts and one 13mm nut that holds up the center support bracket. Move the bracket out of the way. On six cylinder models, the 13mm nut that holds the exhaust hanger is on the other side of the bracket. This photo illustrates the right side exhaust where it is connected to the exhaust manifold. Remove the four 13 millimeter fasteners, green arrows that hold the flange on the exhaust downpipe to the flange on the exhaust manifold. These are 13 millimeter heads on the other side of the fasteners, so you will have to use a wrench to hold the bolt head while you loosen the nuts. You will have to perform this identical procedure on the left side exhaust downpipe. Still working at the same right side exhaust flange, we see someone has already removed the rusted fasteners and replaced them with new ones. If you have rusted fasteners, you can cut them here at the red arrows and replace them. You will have to hammer and possibly chisel the old ones off, so as always, wear your eye protection. On the six cylinder model, remove the six 13 millimeter fasteners that hold the exhaust downpipe to the exhaust manifold. You do not have to remove the front O2 sensor because they are mounted in the manifold. 
Carefully remove the jack stand under the middle of the exhaust. Carefully lower the front of the exhaust to the ground. You may want to have a helper with you on the other side of the car. Move to the back of the car and lower the jack. Lift the muffler up and remove the jack and rest the exhaust on the floor. It's probably easiest to slide the exhaust out the back of the car, so you may want to lay down something to protect the exhaust from the ground. It is heavy, so you may want to have someone help you. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.